U.S. and coalition forces conducted more airstrikes against Iran-backed militant groups, this time striking more Houthi targets in Yemen. As the military continues a campaign of airstrikes in retaliation for the drone attack on the Tower 22 base in Jordan, which killed three American service members. The Houthis have not confirmed if any military personnel or civilians were killed in the latest rounds of airstrikes, but a spokesperson for the group again connected their campaign in the Red Sea to the ongoing war in Gaza, while promising to retaliate against the coalition forces. These attacks will not deter us from our moral, religious and humanitarian stance in support of the steadfast Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip, and will not go unanswered and punished, Yahya Surya, a spokesperson for the Houthi military, said in a statement posted on social media shortly after the attacks. Since the attack on Tower 22 last week, the U.S. has now conducted airstrikes on Iran-backed militias in Syria, Iraq and Yemen. No strikes have been conducted inside Iran itself, but National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan refused to rule out that option while speaking on Meet the Press on Sunday morning. What I will say is that the President is determined to respond forcefully to attacks on our people, and the President also is not looking for a wider war in the Middle East, Sullivan said. After the war between Israel and Hamas broke out on October 7, the Houthis began a campaign targeting what they call Israel-linked merchant vessels in the Red Sea, an important international trade lane that sees approximately 10-15% to of all global shipping. In response, the U.S. began Operation Prosperity Guardian to serve as a highway patrol in the region. The strikes on Saturday and Sunday come over three weeks after the first U.S. airstrikes on the Houthis in January.